be the one end, uh, ending up taking the shot. Raza is there too, and a quick goal by Fordham. Right there on the free kick. It was beautifully executed, and they are on the board here early in Pittsburgh. Well, in the intro, I mentioned just how dangerous this Fordham team can be when you hand them opportunities, and you see our first example of the night right there. Fordham had a great placement on the field for that set piece and capitalized. Pass got it to him. Landry tries to play that one into Hofstad. Hofstad with a left foot puts it on, and knew who will get to that one. Stout now puts it in with his left, looking for Kappelsberger. Heads it down. Knew who with the save. Driven into the box and blocked out by Landry. Driven once again into the box, and that ball gotten to and hooked on net. And looked at that was Pila's getting to that and throwing opportunity here for Duquesne Landry. Ball bouncing around. To Busquets, and a save by Nuhu. Man, oh man, what a save by Nuhu right there. That ball was pegged for that bottom right Nine. corner. Nine. And Nuhu Eight. able to gobble that one up. Seven. That would have been Six. something right there, Dave. Five. Yes, it sure would have Four. been a phenomenal play Three. by Nuhu to keep Two. this game alive. Uh, tall guy. Definitely has a good vertical, but that ball just not being played high enough from the corner. But now that plus, and now that's going to be a goal right there, and that'll end it. Fordham will get the win. Pilas with a perfect header down, and it's going to be the guy who fouled Busquets to give Duquesne the penalty kick. Right there, number five, Jorgen Oland getting the goal for the Rams. That was just tic-tac-toe right there, a perfect cross in. Then a good feed into Owen as we see now. Owen able to bury that one. I think McKelvin might have gotten a piece of it. And he's 